So I've mainly been using Parma stone lately. It's a bit pricey. These are my little skulls. So I put them on a macro lens. And I'm really concerned over the bubbles. And before the vibrating table, these three guys were different techniques that I was using to try and get better. You can see the middle one looks like the best. Because um, I, I start using uh, an old toothbrush, an old vibrating toothbrush to try and vibrate areas. So it did improve a little bit. But this is the table, this last skull. There we go. And you can see there's like practically no bubbles whatsoever in it. I mean, the, the thing is pretty much flawless. And you can see that, is that the guy's kind of fingerprint on the back that made the skull originally or something? Um, now I can go for a closer look. So, I mean, you can see a little bit on the top. Let's see, kind of. There you go. They're like very tiny bubbles. So, that's that's just uh, impressive. That's that's what a vibrating table do for you. Vibration in general will do that. I mean, the Durham stuff worked pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna have to try that with the um, the table as well. Just see if I can get it to look better. And the stuff's cheaper than the Perma Stone. And I might just try it with um, Plaster Paris just to be something to try for fun but that's just impressive all right and the other thing I used was some surfactant debubbleizer and that just made the stuff melt even more 